For the past 45 years, my family and I have been investigating the unsolved murder of my sister, Teresa Allure. In 2020, it felt I was moving in the right direction. Next step was write a book focused on a lot of these th theories and these ideas. And, and that book was definitely designed for people to, to come forward and contribute information. That was the whole purpose of it. Eventually, people started to come forward with potential suspects. One of the early ones was a guy named Norman Jacques. And Norman Jacques was brought to my attention by one of his daughters. And he had had suspicious behaviors that she felt were in relation to Teresa. I was told Norman Jacques lived across the street from student residences and had visited the site where Teresa's body was found. This young woman told me he had allegedly gone hunting the weekend that Teresa disappeared and he was AWOL from the family. So you want to start investigating this and determining is it leading in the right direction, is it leading in the wrong direction. And when I asked when this hunting event occurred, it began to fall apart. Did I say in the days after November 3rd, 1978? I really meant in the years following. I really can't remember when it occurred. Ultimately, Norman Jacques, along with a host of others, were checked off on my list of suspects. There were times that I thought that John might be obsessed with this whole pursuit of Teresa. I remember I spoke to John after the book came out and I said, you know, John, you've done a fantastic job on all the research. I think you've done everything that you could have done for Teresa's case. Maybe it's time to, like, to take a break from, from all of this, which I thought he was going to do, you know, um, but um, he didn't really take much of a break. I did feel after the book was published that I needed to regroup myself, recharge, and reassess. And there's certainly periods where I just need a break and to live my life. But, you know, it's like an itch, right? You want to keep scratching at it. 